fill you in on this Dodge Ram truck. It has this mysterious misfire on cylinder one. I've swapped the spark plugs, I've swapped coils, and I've swapped injectors, yet the misfire still remains. Uh, so what good is uh, fuel and, and spark if you don't have any compression? So now what I'm gonna do is pop off the valve cover uh, and actually start it with only running on the passenger bank. Cylinder one is uh, driver's side in the very front. So I'm gonna pop off the valve cover and look at the valve springs to see if they're opening on the way because these do have a known issue of wearing down the camshafts. So let's, uh, let's tear it apart and see what so we can find. Popped off. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and crank it up and look at this cylinder one uh, intake and exhaust valve spring and see how they open and close in relation to the other ones. Because if the cam is rounded off, it's not gonna be opening the valve as far as it should. So I'm going to crank it up and see what it does. Just for a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah, cylinder one isn't opening as far as cylinder uh, three is. So I don't know if the video did it justice, but cylinder one, the rocker arm here, wasn't compressing the valve spring as much as uh, the cylinder 3 was behind it. I really hope the video could pick that up, but basically what we have here is a uh, lack of lift from this uh, this cam lobe right here on the cylinder 1 on the intake side. Exhaust look good, it's the intake side that's not uh, opening the valve as far as it should. So I guess we're going to go ahead and order the camshaft and just for a cheap fix we're just going to order the lifter for this specific uh, cylinder here intake on cylinder one new camshaft new gaskets throughout and hopefully that fixes the problem all right got the camshaft new head gaskets time to cover gasket water pump new head bolts and two new lifters there's two different styles because it does have the deactivation so i'm not sure which one it's going to take but i have both of them just in case everything from uh Mopar themselves. So, it's time to start tearing down this motor and get down to the camshaft. Of course. Make it sound so easy. 14 steps. 14 big steps. So the passenger side is the easier side. Uh, I took off the rocker arms. I sit like on two separate pedestals. One for the exhaust side and the other for the intake side. Put those pedestals off. I actually left the bolts in there. And then I got the push rods out, leaving them in the exact same order they came out in. It's like short, long, short, long, short, long, and so forth. I just kept them in the same order. Make sure you keep everything exactly how it came off because uh, valve train components kind of wear into each other, I guess, and it's just a good, good idea to put them exactly where you uh, pull them out from. So I got the exhaust manifold loose. I should be able to just take off the head bolts and pull the head kind of up and away from the exhaust manifold without having to completely take it out. And luckily, I did not break any exhaust bolts because usually they do break. But so far, it's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, driver's side, work over there. Alright, so I got this head undone. Uh, it's a good idea to take off the bolts in a crisscross uh, pattern. Not only tighten it, but also removing the head so you don't release torque in unequal amounts and risk warping the head, if that makes sense. So, yep, head is loose. I'm gonna crawl up to the top and try and pull the head off from the top of the bay. Alright, so I got the stock cam out of the truck. And here is the culprit. This is the intake lobe, cylinder one. And it is just, just been grinding away at that lobe. Every other lobe looks pretty good. It's just this one just got ruined. Uh, I have the lifter somewhere that went to that. Oh, here it is. So this is the lifter that was riding that lobe. 
start actually grinding into the sides here and the roll I'm surprised it's the rolls it's really pitted and chewed up just eating away at that lobe so this is the source of the mysterious misfire on a hammy uh, here it is I'm trying to think of some tips to give y'all um, I guess you don't have to remove the exhaust manifolds all the way you just unbolt them from the heads and let them kind of lay there uh, this big bracket down here, the power steering pump is, uh, power steering pump, but the alternator is actually bolted up to this big bracket, and I actually just took it off and let it hang. I don't have to undo power steering lines or take off the alternator. Um, AC compressor, I didn't undo the lines, I just unbolted it and moved it aside. Um, besides that, there's no really tricks around it doing this. I get, to get to the manifold bolts, uh, take off the liners, and you can actually access them through the wheel well pretty easily um, yeah that's about it yeah so I'm just gonna clean up the heads need to prep the surfaces and put it back together I'm sure it's gonna run just fine